In this video, I'll show you how to fully set up for the first time your iPad Air 6th generation that came out in 2024. So I'll show you exactly how to go through the setup menu and then I'll show you a few tips on how to use your iPad. So let's get started right away. Once you unbox it, you should have this screen. If you do not see it, simply press the power button over here for about three seconds until you see the Apple logo and the iPad will boot up. I'll put it in portrait mode like this, but you can also do the same thing I'll show you in vertical mode like that. I just prefer this way since this iPad has the camera right over there. This is the first iPad to have a camera on the top so you can use it in this position instead. All right, once you see this, you're gonna drag up from the bottom of the screen so you get this menu appearing. You'll first have to select your language. Here I'll select English, but obviously you have many other choices. Then choose your country or region. I'll select Canada. And now it will give us four different choices on how you would like the text and the different icons on your iPad to look like. So you have very small if you're comfortable like this and you get a small preview up there and you have also very large if you have trouble seeing small details in general. In my case, I'll keep it to default and I suggest you keep it this way. The iPad has been designed to be used in default mode most of the time, so I'll keep it there and press the continue button. Now, here is quick start you're not obligated to use this feature. And I'll make a complete separate video on how to use the quick start setting. What does it mean is if you have an other iPad or another iPhone, you can simply bring them together and the iPad will be synced with your other Apple device. This way you won't have to enter manually your account and go through all the settings I will show you next. This is a much quicker way to get started and I highly suggest it if you have another Apple device. But in this video, we'll do everything manually. So I'll select Setup without another device here on the bottom. Then I need to select my Wi-Fi network. So in this list, I'll search for it. This is mine, I'll click on it, and now I have to enter the password. Go ahead, enter yours. Once you enter the password, you're gonna click on the Join button here or Join up there. Wait a few seconds so it connects to the Wi-Fi. Now you just have to wait. After waiting for about a minute, you'll get this screen. If there is a software update available for your iPad, you'll get this notification so you can update right now. You can also choose to update later if this is something you prefer. I'll choose update later, but you can update right now if you have some time. It will take about three, four, five minutes to download the update and install it. I'll press update later, press continue. Here you have to choose between setup for myself or setup for a child in my family. If it's an adult using the iPad, you're gonna select the blue button here. If it's a child, select the under button. Now they'll ask us to set touch ID. This iPad has a fingerprint reader right on the power button over here. Okay, and this fingerprint reader is able to unlock your iPad. You can also pay for stuff. You can do many things simply by putting your finger on this button. This way you don't have to enter a password manually each time. I highly suggest you set it up. So let's do it together. I'll press continue and it will ask us to place our finger on the touch ID sensor, which is again right over here. I suggest you use your index finger on the left side or right side, depending which side you use the most. And you're gonna simply cover the button with your finger like this. Lift it, put it back. Lift it, put it back. And you're gonna do this a few times like that so the sensor can see your whole finger. You may get this uh, message appearing from time to time, just reminding you that you need to cover the whole sensor with your finger. And after about 10, 15 times of doing this gesture, 
you're gonna get a message press continue and you're gonna do the same exact thing but this time you're gonna um, go with the edge of your finger not the the top here so I'll do like this instead and the other side as well okay and finally you're gonna get this blue check mark it means you did everything correctly press continue and now you can add another finger so you're not obligated to stay with your uh, index finger you can have many other fingers in my case I'll skip I'll just use this one to unlock my um, iPad and stuff like that so I'll press set up later in settings but if you want to input a new finger press continue now they'll ask to create a passcode this is in case your fingerprint is not working properly let's say your button is damaged or maybe it's dirty and you still want to access your iPad right well you'll have a pin code here you need to create so it's a backup way of uh, entering your iPad and doing certain things so I'll create mine obviously this one's an easy password this is just for the purpose of this video I don't recommend to create an easy password I'll simply press use anyway because I'll change it later and then you'll need to re-enter the same passcode you just entered okay on this screen they ask us how would we like to transfer our apps and different information pictures from an existing device to this one from another iPad if it's from an iPhone you're gonna select iCloud backup if you have one obviously and uh, you can also select Mac PC or if you have an Android tablet and this is your first Apple device you can also select from Android and transfer all the data from your older Android tablet or smartphone to this iPad so you have multiple choices in my case I'll select don't transfer anything since I want to start completely fresh on this device now they will ask us to create or to sign up into your Apple ID or Apple account it's the same thing so what you need to do is to input here your email or phone number uh, that is associated with your account and log in if you do not have an Apple ID or Apple account since this is the first time you have an Apple device just select click over here forgot password or don't have an Apple ID and you'll be able to create one in just a few minutes in my case I already have one so I'll go ahead and enter into my account all right so I have entered my email and password of my Apple ID then I will get this screen I should just press on agree here wait a few seconds right now it's connecting to that account then here we're gonna have multiple options if you want to transfer the app and data that is logged in into your Apple ID you can select here in my case I have don't transfer anything same thing with the settings if you want to change those and to sync with the ones from your account you can click here to select them and finally wallet if you have credit cards or other payment information that you like to sync with this iPad well go ahead click here and you'll be able to select which one you'd like to have on this device in my case I'll simply press continue here they'll ask if you want this iPad to update automatically this way you don't have to go into the settings menu select update every time there's a new update it will simply do it without even you noticing almost if you want this feature press continue if you want um, to do it manually select only download automatically this will mean that the iPad will not install the update until you give the OK I'll select this uh, option here they will ask uh, to add your credit card to your Apple ID or to use it on the App Store or the iTunes Store if you do not want this um, if you don't want Apple to have your credit card information you can click on this small button here so you can remove this keyboard and click on add this card later this uh, screen over here is simply to enable Siri 
you know, just by saying, hey Siri, you'll be able to modify a bunch of different settings or ask for weather. You know, it's a voice assistant. If you want Siri, press continue. If you do not want it, press set up later in settings. On this screen, you'll be able to select if you want Apple to access your usage data. So every time like you encounter an error, you get a message so they can fix it in the future on the next software update, stuff like that. If you want Apple to be aware of this, press share with Apple. If you do not want to share your personal data, press don't share then press get started. And we are done. We are on the main screen of your iPad. Now let me show you how to do certain things. This way you'll be more familiar with your new device. Over here we have some widgets, as you can see, this is how they're called. And over here we have some apps that come pre-installed with your iPad. Some of them you can delete, some of them you cannot. If you want to change their position, you can simply keep press on them and then you'll be able to move them around on the position you, you would prefer. You can simply remove them from the home screen so you do not see them, but they're still installed on your iPad by clicking this small line here and you remove from home screen. The app will disappear, but the app will still be installed on your iPad. You can put it back at any time. If you want to see all the apps that are installed on your device, simply go like this towards the right side and you'll arrive over here. This is called the app library. This is where you see all the apps that are installed and they're grouped into different categories. So over here we have information and reading. If you tap on it, you're going to see them all. You can tap anywhere on the screen to go back on this and you can see over here in each groups, there's a bunch of apps that come pre-installed on your iPad. And even if you download some in the future, they'll always be grouped. This way it's easier to find them um, afterwards. If you enter an app like I just did over here and you want to exit, simply drag up from the bottom of the screen where you see the line like this. And you see the app is over here. You just have to go up like that, like you saw. Let me redo it once more. You see, like that, so you can close it. Actually, you do not close it, it goes in the background. If you want to, if you have multiple apps that are open, let me just open a few of them like that, okay? You simply have to go again, swipe up from the bottom of the screen, whoops, let me do it again, and you're gonna see them all appearing, and you can uh, completely close them by swiping them up and you see they disappear. This means the app is completely closed. It's not in the background anymore. If you want to modify certain quick settings, you simply need to drag down from the top right corner of your screen like this. You're going to have these quick settings appearing and here you can uh, select the volume up and down. You have some vo uh, volume buttons on the iPad itself, but you can also do it through this menu. You have the brightness of the screen. You see, simply by dragging it up and down, you can do this. You have the airplane mode, Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi settings over here, Bluetooth settings. If something is playing on YouTube or a podcast or music, you're going to see it here. So you can play pause quickly. And you have other um, options like screen mirroring. And you can also lock the orientation of the screen here. If I click on it, you see if it's red, it means it's locked. So even if I turn my iPad this direction, nothing will turn. It won't adjust automatically. Let me remove this. And you have also a few more settings over here. If one of these widgets is annoying you and you don't want it anymore, keep it pressed. And then you're going to get this uh, settings. You can remove it by select selecting remove stack. Remove. Here we go. And you see the apps takes the empty space automatically.